higher, right, it's kiln opening time. The kiln's cooled down now. It's been doing a bit firing, so it's been up to about a thousand degrees overnight, and then it's cooled down through the day. We're at 55 degrees now, so it's about cool enough to open, and the pots will be able to be handled. I'm not gonna burn your fingers. So we've got a few bits and bobs in here. So the first thing's coming out. I've got some planters. So they've gone in leather hard. They've, this is just their first drying firing, so it's a bisque firing. So we've got some planters coming out and some of the herb jars as well. So my next part, the next thing to do now is to wax the bottoms and then they'll be ready for glazing. I'll do that tomorrow. So I'll just pop these to one side. These are just about the right temperature to handle. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I do open it a bit hotter, but um, you need asbestos fingers then. So at this stage, the clay is much stronger, but you still need to be a little bit careful about um, knocking it. So it's, it's not as vitrified or not as um, strong as it will be once it's had its full glaze firing. Believe it or not, I've got Christmas tree decorations coming out as well. I've made a start on these because um, last year I just couldn't keep up with making them quick enough. So I'm ahead of the game. I've been making them since January. So we've got, we've got mugs and then a taller pot as well, which I've had to lay on its side just so that I can fit it in the kiln for now. Obviously when I glaze this one, I won't be able to use um, quite as many shelves in there because it just wouldn't quite fit. So that's another commission that somebody's asked me to make for them. So that's ready for decorating. And then just some little special commission pieces coming out here as well. So I'll tuck those away in case the recipient is watching. So I'll hide these ones away. So I've just got two layers in my kiln at the moment. So this is the top layer and I fire them on a, a bat, um, which I've put a bat washer over to stop any glaze that drips sticking. And then just underneath is the second layer. Um, and this has got more Christmas tree decorations, more herb jars coming out, and some more um, little animal commissions, which I've been making this week. So the things um, that are coming out will have been drying for a good few days, depending on their size, to make sure any moisture's taken out and then doing a bisque firing things can touch each other so they, they won't stick together but once I've glazed them I can't fire as many pieces because they can't touch one up once they're in the kiln otherwise they the glaze will stick them together and that'll be the end of that so we've got panda bears coming out we've got some mice um, robins and then some cats and more commissions I've been doing a lot of cows recently so some of the cows are coming out so the next job will be to paint them and glaze them and get them back in again once this kiln's emptied I've got another bisque firing to put on so it won't quite go cold and then it'll be on again First of the cows coming out, looking okay. It's always nice when you open the kiln and nothing's exploded, which is great, or no cracks. Which is great. Especially if it's a commission and you're on a bit of a timeline. There's a couple of dog, dog commissions coming out as well. Good, which is great. More cows. When I do the, the full glaze firing, it goes up to um, 
1225 so it's like a sauna when you come out here in the morning and the gla the kiln's been on for a glaze firing you need to come out in just a t-shirt it's boiling always good in the winter time and the last things to come out are some little cats and we have space to put things those away And those are the last things to come out. Some little cats. There we go. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.